In this video, we will speed run a guide how to watch a replay of professional CS2 game or your own face it game if you need it for whatever reason. These replays are called demos. At the end, I will also share useful binds that you can use yourself to watch these demos faster and more efficiently. Use the timestamps in the video to navigate to a part which interests you. Where to find the demo? For professional games, head over to hltv.org, which cover pretty much every relevant tournament in the world. For watching recent game, I suggest heading into results tab, where you will see latest finished games in chronological order. However, if you want to dig deeper in the past, I suggest using events tab and click on archive. Here you will find tons of events even I never heard of, but scrolling down a bit and on the left will be a filter, where you can filter either by date, how big the tournament was or by price pool. Let's use international LAN filter for this video. Latest international LAN that happened was ESL Challenger Atlanta and let's say I want to rewatch finals. I click on results and last game is the final, which happened between Virtus Pro and Apex. Here you can rewatch by checking Twitch VOD, but we want a demo, so we click on first option instead. It will prompt the download. Extract downloaded zip file into the folder you see on screen. If you watch a lot of demos, I suggest creating a shortcut for this folder on the desktop for easy access, saves a lot of time for me. You can find this folder very easily. Just right click on the Steam, Library, Find CS2, right click on it, Manage and Browse Local Files. This will open up a folder where you hit Game, CSGO and this is where you paste your demo. Once you extract file, you can either remember the name of it, which looks like this, or rename it into something easy like finals demo. For face it, the process is much easier. Head over to the lobby of your face it match, click on the overview tab, and in the middle of your screen, you should see watch demo. Clicking on it will start a download. Extract file to the demo folder, which you see on the screen, rename it if you want, because these titles are a bit weird. For the video, I will name it face it demo. How to start the demo? That was the hardest part. Now all you need to do is launch CS2 and open the console. Type play demo and name of the demo you want to watch. In this case, I want to boot up finals demo from professional tournament. Let it load and we are ready to watch. In case the demo doesn't load, skip to this timestamp where I go over an easy fix. How to control the demo? When the demo loads, you will be able to spectate every player on the server. Press shift plus F2 to bring up demo UI. Here we can do pretty much anything you need from adjusting speed of replay to pausing or skipping rounds. It is much smoother compared to CSGO, so the whole experience is actually enjoyable. However, you will still encounter numerous bugs such as being able to hear sounds that were not heard in game or some visual glitches, but that's what we have to work with for now. To skip between players, use mouse 1, but I prefer to use 0 to 9 keys as it's faster. We can take demo watching one step further and I want to show you my demo binds that that I use whenever I analyze or we do demo review live on my stream. These improve my experience by a ton, but they are not necessary. However, if you watch a lot of demos like me, it can save you time and make things efficient. My demo binds. This is how I set everything up, so feel free to copy it or get inspiration. First, head into your config file. If you don't have one, we need to create one. It's easy. Enter the correct folder, which is on the screen right now. Create a text document called config.cfg. Open it up and this is where your useful binds will go. There are many useful binds like jump throws or aliases, but in this video we focus on demo binds only. Paste these lines into the config, you can find them also in the description to copy easier. After each command, I note what they do. Bind them to whatever keys you like, but I like to use arrow keys mainly. In the description I will also link list of bindable keys so you just rename up arrow to whatever you want or down arrow or R shift etc. Once you're happy save it and when you start CS make sure to type exec config into console. This will execute this config and you will be able to use these bytes. Without this it won't work. When you restart CS you will have to again type exec config and hit enter. I mention it because I always forget so don't be like me. Pressing left arrow lets me go in time by 5 seconds is super useful. Pressing down arrow lets me fast forward by 20 times to find parts that I'm interested in. Pressing up arrow makes me fast forward by 50 times, which is super helpful to escape freeze times, pauses and boring parts of the round. Right shift helps me pause and unpause the demo and right alt toggles x-ray. I like to watch without x-ray so I can't see enemy through the wall to make it seem more realistic. It's just personal preference so use whatever you like. 
If the demo doesn't load for you, the usual problems are that you didn't paste the file into correct folder or you named it differently than the demo you are trying to load through console. Another thing might be that the match you want to see was played on older version of the game. Valve seemed to fix this as of recording of this video but this bug might come back. To fix this, quit CS and head over to Steam library. Right click CS2, go to properties and click on betas. Here from drop down menu at the top, choose older version of the game. There are usually a bunch of versions so we will have to go through them to find the correct one. When older update downloads, start the game and try again. If it works, congrats, but don't forget that if you want to actually play CS2 now, you would have to update it back into current version. That's it, if you have any additional questions or problems, make sure to comment down below. Either me or someone else from the community will gladly answer you and help. Good luck watching and if this video helped you in any way, aim on that like button so it can reach more people and help even more.